different definitions of poverty so we have absolute poverty what is absolute poverty it is a condition where individual and household are incapable of meeting their needs so again it is very simple it is a condition it is a state where individual or a status you can say where uh, an individual or household are incapable of meeting their needs basic needs are very important in it uh, where one cannot uh, buy shelter clothing and food for themselves so it is called absolute poverty it refers to some absolute standard of minimum requirements for the life standard so it was the definition in 2002 by tudero what is poverty line poverty line actually identifies the poor as being those whose income or purchasing power is less than a dollar a day when someone has income less than a dollar a day and their purchasing power is very weak so that is called poverty line so world bank 1990 described about this definition then we have related to deprivation deprivation is a i told you before that deprivation mean uh, uh, mehrumi ehsaas e mehrumi having nothing uh, uh, relative deprivation mean when you have nothing to own you the term relative deprivation defined as the failure to maintain standard of living which is prevalent in society so when you when someone is uh, uh, improving their life standard but they are not capable to improve their standard of living uh, so that is called relative deprivation shaffer 2001 after 1990s or in the last decade there have been four major changes incorporated into the concept of poverty there were four major changes number 1 shift of physiological model of deprivation to social model of deprivation so and the bracket we have mentioned as lack of basic material needs so shift of physiological model means when you are facing health problem and if uh, uh, there is uh, the problem of eating something so that is called physiological model of uh, deprivation so mm, uh, it shifted from uh, health uh, model to uh, the social model of deprivation which was uh, uh, to provide basic needs that is uh, to provide food to provide shelter to provide clothing to the uh, person in a society a renewed interest on relationship between poverty and vulnerability uh, also occurred so the interest was developed on relationship between poverty and helplessness so uh, it means that if someone is poor so again uh, they don't have the purchasing power they cannot buy they cannot eat they cannot provide shelter to their own self so not only poverty but uh, helplessness is also one of the main problem that uh, they have a lot of uh, uh, you can say it ehsaas e mehrumi they have ye log jo hai wo ehsaas e mehrumi mein chale jate hain jab ye log poor hote hain then we have a renewed interest on relationship between poverty and inequality Uh, poverty and inequality is also linked 
बिकॉज देर आर समिटीज इकनॉमिक इनिक्वलिटीज रूल ऑफ लॉ इनिक्वलिटीज इकनॉमिक जस्टिस इज इनिक्वलिटी फॉर द पुअर पुअर इज ट्रीटेड वेरी डिफरेंट इन द सोसाइटी सो देर इज नो सेम स्टेटस ऑफ बिहेवियर इज कंडक्टिंग विद द पीपल विद इन द सोसाइटी uh again i will tell you in urdu that if someone uh, you if agar ek banda bimar poor hai aur wo jo hai ek society mein rehta hai to log unke sath us tarah ka relationship nahi rakhte jis tarah ek maldar bande ke sath rakhte hain to ye jo relationship mein uh, inequality hai ye inequality jo hai ye uh, जो पुअर होता है उनको एहसास महरूमी होती है जिसकी वजह से दे डू नॉट सेट विद इन दियर सोसाइटी देन वी हैव का कंसेप्चुअलाइजेशन ऑफ पावर्टी एज द वायलेशन ऑफ बेसिक ह्यूमन राइट्स सो पावर्टी इज एक्चुअली अ कंसेप्ट ऑफ वायलेशन ऑफ बेसिक ह्यूमन राइट्स so if you will if you, uh, the state uh, which is called our government or our country uh, that is not capable to provide uh, the basic rights such as uh, providing shelter such as providing job opportunities to the people and the society in order to uh, make them capable to earn for themselves so that is the basic human rights that is uh, not uh, provided to the poor within the society so it is a concept of violation of basic human rights again poverty is the concept of basic basic human rights violation so ye har bande ki jo hai ye basic human rights hai ki unko aap job opportunities provide kare और उनको इतनी सोशल सिक्योरिटी हो उनकी सोसाइटी में कि वो उस मुल्क में या उस एरिया में वो कैपेबल हो कि वो अपने लिए कुछ कर सके वर्ल्ड बैंक 2000 एलोबरेटेड द नोशन ऑफ डिप्राइवेशन बाय डिफाइनिंग पॉवर्टी इज डिप्राइवेशन ऑफ वेल बीइंग हियर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड यहां पे हमने डिस्कस किया है वेल बीइंग को वेल बीइंग रेफर्स टू income and basic needs you have to see the income level of a person and their basic needs aya wo log itne capable hain ki wo apne income ko proceed karte hain aur wo apne basic needs ko fulfill karte hain then we have command over commodity command over commodity means uh, uh whether individual have enough resources to meet their needs so well being has these two definitions in it and you may must understand about it then we have ability to obtain certain goods and services ability to obtain a specific type of consumption goods so again uh when someone is living in a society they must be provided with job opportunities in order to raise their income and improve their life standard through buying goods for themselves for their eating for their uh, housing for uh, their house services for everything they must have Uh, to buy by themselves uh, and this is the responsibility of the state of the government to provide job opportunities to the people within that society capability approach was discussed by amartya sen so well being also refers to one's capability to function in society as we discussed in our uh, previous uh, 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 slides that uh, well being refers to income and Uh, basic needs so amritya sen uh, said an uh, uh, capability approach which uh, he mentioned he said that the capability approach includes capability and functions 
what is function indeed function refers to one's being doings where as capability is the combination of functioning so being doing means if you are doing some activities if you are doing some uh, 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 goods and services function requires goods to achieve certain beings or doings for doing something functioning mean doing a job or doing some services for the country and at that uh, uh and uh, you are being paid by your state or by the government so functioning influenced by personal characteristic that is physical condition and intelligence of uh, someone or the capabilities and someone's personalities or the skills provided to the human capital within a country social characteristics is public policy which is provided by the government social norms must be monitored by the government as well gender roles uh, the gender equality suppose women should uh, be provided also with job opportunities and male should be provided with uh, also job opportunities so both would be provided on equality basis with job opportunity uh, then we have the environmental characteristics also uh, such as climate uh infrastructure institutions public goods also depends on the capability which is more important than goods so it would be provided by the government to the people within that society so amratya sin's capability approach includes capabilities and functions uh, capabilities are uh, uh, again i will uh, repeat it that uh, doing of something is function and capability is the combination of functioning and function is you know, when you have some opportunities of towards job or earning so you are doing your services over there and you have personal skills and capabilities then uh, social characteristics are provided by the government within your society and uh, environmental characteristics are also provided by the government and they have certain policies for it types of capabilities uh, there are four types of capabilities economic capability human capabilities political capabilities socio cultural capabilities the ability to earn income to consume and have and to have goods uh, to have goods uh, means when you have the ability to earn for yourself when you have to earn for yourself you have to consume when someone in the society have jobs so they can uh, buy something they have uh, many goods suppose uh, i am working in the university as a professor so i am earning so if i am earning it means that i would have to buy a car for myself in order to go to university very smoothly then uh, i have to buy some goods uh, for myself suppose uh, i would buy uh, eating materials and i would buy some uh, uh, clothing uh, and shelter for myself and for my children then we have human capability human capability is really related to health education nutrition clean water shelter etc so uh, health facilities education facility nutrition facilities clean water facilities and shelter should be provided to human uh, by their government then we have political capabilities refers to uh, human rights voice and decision making process and level of influences over public policies so it refers to uh, every human has their own rights in the society uh, their decision should be uh, decision making processes should be uh, provided uh, to every person within the society in order to have freedom level of influences over public policies public policies uh, would also Uh, be changed according to the political capabilities uh, provided to the humans uh, within that society then we discuss about socio cultural capabilities the ability to participate is a valuable member of the community so 
socio cultural capabilities are also very important uh, to provide uh, dignity to the people within the society thank you.